Hey Water Energies, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and this cross-watching as well. Welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at what is blocking your current romantic um, partner and their energy. So why are their energies blocked? Why aren't they opening themselves up to you? Why aren't they emotionally expressive? Is there something blocking them? Is it an internal factor? Is it an external factor? Are there, is it just their you know, overall blocked energy here? And how maybe we can help unblock some of you know, that um, blocked energy here, guys. It's a general reading, therefore the messages here are going to be general, so please just be mindful of that. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So I'm going to give the cards a shuffle, and we're going to take a look at what is it that's blocking your current romantic partner from coming forward and from opening themselves up to all the wondrous possibilities of love. So I want you to just take a moment and think about your focus rather on your current romantic energy here and we'll see if um, we can help channel and um, alleviate some of that blocked energy. Okay. So what's blocking your current romantic partner? It's a little crooked. I'm going to just straighten it up for you guys because that's going to frustrate me. Okay, so what is it that's blocking them? Um, good question. I feel like it could be a multitude of things, given, you know, that there are nine swords here that hover above uh, the figure's head here. I feel like it's not just one thing that's actually blocking your person's energy. And I also feel like it's not just one area of their lives in which they feel really stagnated and feel really blocked. I feel like it's a multitude of things. I feel like it's a mix of internal as well as internal factors that are, you know, blocking your person and preventing them from opening themselves up here. The good news is that I feel like with the Three of Pentacles, with additional help, with outside help, okay, such as couples therapy, um, a very strong emotional support system, like close connecting energies, family or friends, there is... Um, I feel like there is an opportunity to help unblock them. There's an opportunity to help see them, you know, and to help them see what what's keeping them stuck, what's keeping them blocked here. So I feel like that's the good news. The good news is that there is, you know, there is some coming back from it. This is reversible. We can get them to... Um, so we can get them to sit with their pain here, confront their pain individually. I do feel like water signs, you are going to be a, you're going to play a very significant role in helping them unblock, okay, some of these energies. I, and I feel like it's a, your, to them, you're going to be a blessing in disguise. To them, like your God sent or your heaven sent, because I can see that you offer a lot of healing energies and you're going to help them heal some of this um, blocked energy energy here okay so and i see that there is also outside help so it could be professional help like seeing you know couples therapy it could be like seeing a, a counselor a psychologist um i feel like there is additional help that they may need but then of course they have to be willing to um firstly they have to be willing uh, to be honest with themselves okay in admitting that you know um, they do have problems or they are stagnated, they are stuck in certain areas of your life, of their life and they have to be willing to help reach outwards here. Um, the other thing is I, I'm seeing that your person here is scared of opening up, okay? They've got quite a closed off energy. Now, they come across as very cold and distant towards you or they come across as someone who is not emotionally vulnerable or who doesn't have... Um, you know, who doesn't have an emotional or a sensitive side to their nature. That's not the case. I feel like the very reason why they come across this way is um, they are trying to protect what is essentially a sensitive being here. 
your person has a hard shell or is a hard exterior but inside okay is soft gooey stuff inside your person is really sensitive they're very fragile they're very um they're easily hurt they can be easily provoked and easily angered they're aware of this okay this is why i feel like they have you know they wear such strong emotional armor here to protect essentially what is very sensitive and very fragile inside so they may come across a certain way um, but that's not the case because I feel like the more you'll get to the you'll get to know them, the more of their character, of who they truly are, their essence, their being, will you truly glimpse here. Um, your person has insecurity issues. I can see that your person has. Um, it's like they almost feel like they're inadequate or they're not worthy of, you know, of love. They may have been hurt in the past and this is why they're trying to protect themselves. This is why they may be a little bit um, closed off or guarded here with you, um, you know, because they don't want history to repeat itself. But I can see that your person also may suffer from like low self-worth or inadequacies or insecurity issues. And just as I say that the candle here is really, um, the flame started really flickering here. So that's something that they have to work with. So some of the like issues are internal and they're very intricate and they're very interwoven and they affect other areas of their life. So it's not just love. It's not love that's keeping them blocked or stagnated. I feel like they're also, maybe they don't push themselves to be the best version of themselves because they don't believe, you know, they are worthy. They don't believe they are worthy of that title, of that promotion, of that ideal partnership, of that, you know, romantic energy your person has essentially your person has low self-esteem or low self-worth issues and they have a tendency to sometimes project outwards as well now they can come across as someone who's not interested because for some of you i can see that you're struggling your person is maybe not as you don't feel like you're fully understood by them or your person is not as communicative or as responsive as you want them to be. So again, they can come across as a little bit disinterested or like they're not all in. They are, but I feel like it's just them trying to keep a distance. They're just trying to figure you out. They're just trying to figure out their emotions and figure out the complexity of this connection. That's not to say that this is a complicated emotional state of affairs. It is for them purely because they have so many issues that need to be untangled. Because if they don't work through those internal issues, you know, there's issues possibly of abandonment. Your person might have grown up in a uh, in an unstable home environment. Their parents might have abandoned them. They may have suffered abandonment from previous romantic relationships. So they have those because they've suffered pain and loss, they feel, on some level, they feel like that's a normality for them. And they feel like all relationships, therefore, must have pain or loss involved. Or all, you know, um, connections might, must have a sense of an element of pain or toxicity to them. So for them, it's a sense of normality. So what they need to do is they need to release. Because there's a lot of hurt that they're holding on to hurt from the past a lot of issues that they're holding on to and they're projecting those issues outwards so the good news is there is help and i'm seeing that there are connecting energies around your person including yourself who really truly cares for them and who would really want to give them the help that they uh, need and that they deserve but i feel like for your person it's important what's really important here for your person especially to help unblock some of these energies is that Yes, as I've mentioned, you're going to be such an instrumental part to their healing process. You are. But at the same time, your person must confront their own pain individually. They must sit with their pain. They must confront their pain and they must untangle some of these issues before anyone else helps them with this. Okay, guys, so hopefully this has been helpful um, for at least some of you, if not all in addressing some of these blocked energies around your romantic interests and hopefully you can look at some of the ways in which you can maybe try and help or alleviate some of this you know blocked energy i just want to thank you all for watching and for listening please show your support by subscribing to the channel liking sharing for those of you that are interested in a personal reading feel free to inquire otherwise take care guys i'll catch up with you later